Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2024.2 on VirtualBox. Okay, first go to Kali Linux official website that is Kali.wars. Click on download. We have the installer images. Those are nothing but the ISOs, virtual machines, ARM, mobile, cloud and etc. containers. Okay, but if you scroll down, see here we have the latest version that is Kali Linux 2024.2. And if you want older versions, we have to go to the bottom. See here, we have the archived Kali, archived religious. Okay. So go to download and get Kali Linux. Click on installer images. See, we have 64 bit, 32 bit, and ARM. So select the 64 bit and click on this download. See, once we click done, download has been started. Go to downloads. See here, its a size is 4 gigabytes. Okay, so I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded here. See, Kali Linux 2024.iso is downloaded. Once the download is completed, then open VirtualBox. If you want to install VirtualBox on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Open VirtualBox. See, click on Oracle VM VirtualBox. See, these are the list of the virtual machines installed on my Oracle virtual box. Okay. So, to create new virtual machine, click on this new or machine and select new. Both are same. Click on new. Then provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving Kali Linux 2024.2. Then in the folder section, select the drop down and select the path to store this virtual machine files and folders create new folder give the name for that click on select open select the select folder then in next iso image in the drop down select the other then go to download see here we have the installer iso okay select it then click on next here we have to provide the memory so i am giving 4 gigabytes or you can use this pointer to increase Number of processors I am giving to then click on next. Now provide the hard disk size. I am giving 100 gigabytes as virtual hard disk size. Then click on next. See, this is the summary. If you want to modify, you can click on back and back. Okay. Later also, you can edit it. Click on finish. See, this is the virtual machine. Still, if you want to edit these settings, click on settings. You can edit here or right click and select the settings or select it and click on machine and select settings all three are same now select the virtual machine from the left menu and left menu and click on start to start the installation of kali Linux 2024 on virtual box use up and down arrows and select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter select the language and click on continue select the Location, I am ok with the default on United States, then click on continue. Select the keyboard and click on continue. Provide the name for the host name. Ok, I am giving 24 to, ok, call it 24. Later also we can change this host name, then click on continue. If you want add that host to any domain, we have to provide the domain name. Otherwise, keep blank and click on continue. We have to create user. So, I am giving full user full name as Arthur Scores. Then click on continue. Then, see, this is the full name. If you want this name as username, keep as this and click on continue. Then provide the password for this user. Then click on continue. Select the club time zone. Okay, I am going with Eastern. Click on continue. I am going to select guided use the entire disk and click on continue. Select it, continue. Okay, continue. Click on this second one that is 
finish partitioning and partitioning and right changes to disk and click on continue select s and click on continue Now select the software selection. Okay, if you want XFC, select it. It is the default desktop environment. If you want Xenom, select it. Guide Plasma, select it. Or if you want only Xenom, then select Xenom. Okay, it is up to you. If you want to install all, select all and click on continue. So I'm going with only XFC. Okay, then click on continue. If you want to install grub bootloader you have to select s yes and click on continue select the device and click on continue see installation is complete so it is time to boot into your new system make sure to remove the installation media so that boot into the new system rather than restarting the installation so we have to remove the installation media go to virtual box manager see here in the optical drive it is empty so no need to remove anything it is already removed okay click on continue Provide username and password that we have created. Click on login. Let me maximize it to get the full screen. Okay. Now click on terminal. Let me increase the font. Preferences. Change the font. Click on OK. Click on Apply. Click on OK. Now verify the version of Kali Linux. More slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have installed Kali Linux and its version is 2024.2. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Kali Linux 2024.2 on VirtualBox. For more Kali Linux videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.